Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to chapter 39 of the Arduino series. In this video we're going to be covering the HCSR501 motion detector. For the components I'm going to be utilizing the breadboard. You're going to need an LED and a resistor. Along with that I'm going to be using two male to male jumper wires, three female to male jumper wires, the sensor and the Arduino. Picking up the sensor and facing it the way I'm facing it you'll notice that there's three pins. The one in the middle is the sensor which will output a high or a low. On the left side, that's where your power is going to be in. It's, the sensor takes in 5 volts. On the right side, it's going to be the ground the pin. Turning the sensor to the way that I'm facing it right now, you'll notice that there's two potentiometers. The one on the left side is called the sensitivity potentiometer, which is in charge of how far you can detect motion. The one on the right side is called the time delay, which is in charge of how long it will output a high. Now looking at the jumper set, you have two options or two modes. The first one is repeat trigger, which is connecting the left to the middle. In this case that it will continue to output a high once it detects motion. The second mode is achieved by connecting the right pin to the middle pin and this is called a single trigger. It will only output a 1 for the duration of the time delay that you have set it on through the potentiometer and that's where its importance comes into play. I'm going to choose the repeat mode so I'm going to connect the left pin with the right pin through the jumper component. And for the circuit, I'm going to get the 5 volts and connect it to the left pin of the sensor. I'm going to get the pin 8 of the Arduino and connect it to the middle pin and the ground pin of the Arduino and connect it to the right pin. And since my circuit only works in digital, I'm going to connect pin 9 of the Arduino to the resistor on the breadboard. I'm going to connect the resistor to the long head of the LED. The short head of the LED is going to be connected to the ground of the Arduino. Now onto the code, it's quite simple since there's no library going to be used. We have only three variables. The first variable is going to store the pin that's connected to the sensor. The second is going to store the pin that's connected to the LED. And the final is going to store the value of the sensor output. In the void setup, I'm going to make the sensor pin an input pin because I'm trying to receive data. I'm going to make the LED pin an output since I want to output the value of the sensor. I'm going to activate the serial monitor by using a board rate of 9600. Now moving on to the void loop, I start off by actually storing the value of the output into the variable sensor val. I do this by the command digital read sensor pin. This will only store the value of 1 or 0 high or low. Next I tell the Arduino that I want to print the value of the variable through the command serial.println onto the serial monitor. Using the if statement, I told the Arduino that if the sensor val is equal to 1, which is a high, I tell it to output a high for the LED pin, which will end up lighting up the LED and I also tell the Arduino to print onto the serial monitor motion detected using an else statement which is the other option if the sensor value is equal to zero or just not one I tell the Arduino to output to the LED a low power this will turn off the LED if it was on and I tell the Arduino also to print no motion detected onto the serial monitor now looking at the values on the serial monitor, they see that if I was to walk past the sensor, it's going to output a high and therefore the LED is going to turn on. And as soon as I get out of the field of the lens, then the LED gets turned off. And if I was to get back onto the view of the sensor, the LED again turns on. And by that, the video concludes. And I just want to remind that if the video has helped you in any way, consider giving it a like as it does help. And if you wish to join the community that I'm trying to build, it's going to be my Discord linked in the description.